Hello all, welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel. If you like my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. So the next task is power center task. Next task is power center task. What is power center task? We use power center task to run a power center session in IACS data integration. Suppose I have a workflow in power center. I want to run using IACS. You can do that. Only run, that's it. You cannot do anything other than that. Suppose I have an XML here. Let's take any XML. Let's take, let's do a mapping. In Power Center, I will do a mapping. Let's do a simple mapping in Power Center. Which one? Let's take customer's table. So what is SRC dev one? Let's do a, our agents table, I'll take it. Okay, agents table. Yeah, whenever you have Salesforce, you can do it. Okay. Agents is already there. Let me open this. I have agents table already. This is my agents table. My target, agents TGT. Let me import it. Agents TGT. Okay, this is my agents TGT. We'll do any mapping. You can you can do any complex mapping, not a problem. M underscore agents. We'll, we'll see a simple thing. We have it already M underscore agents. Let's take the same thing. Yeah, M underscore agents. Here, what we have seen. So source and filter. In filter, what we have written? True. Okay, fine. So my target is, let's take agents TGT. This is my target. Okay. Yes, please. So here I'll give gender equal to male. Our age is greater than 40. Some filter I'll give it. Save. Now let's go to workflow. M underscore agents. So here it will be, it is not there. Let me create it. Generate workflow. Click on next. WF underscore S. Next, next, finish. Okay, then open this. Configure it. Which folder it is? Back 17 morning. Configure it. Okay. WF underscore S underscore M underscore agents. Give the connections. So what connection I'll give? OTSRC dev one. OTTG dev one. I'll give the connection. Bulk to normal. Truncate load I'll give. Apply OK. Save and run. Whether it is running in power center, we'll see. It is running, correct? It is loading how many records? Three records it is loading. Now what I want to do? I want to run this in ISS. Understanding? I want to run this same workflow using ISS. Suppose I don't have, I have an XML file. I don't have power center installed in my system. I want to run in ISS. What to do? First export it. Go to repository manager. Always you need to go to repository manager and you need to export it. Otherwise it will not work. Go to repository manager. Export your workflow. Export objects. So I am exporting in somewhere. Done. Exported. Done, guys. I have XML file, correct? Now I have XML file. Yes or no, please? So this is my XML file. This is my XML file. Now what I will do? I'll go to ISS. New. Tasks. Power Center task. Import a Power Center workflow. So you can run it as a cloud data integration task. Create. Power center task create. So you can use PC underscore agents. Some name I'm giving. Run runtime environment. Now workflow XML file. 
whatever the XML file we have seen, we have under we have given the same XML file we selected. S underscore M underscore agents. Yes, please. Click on OK. Once you once you uploaded the XML file. Now see please. So if you have any parameters in Power Center, you can use the same here. Now see here, please. In Power Center, my source connection is this. My target connection is this, correct? In Power Center, my source connection is REL OTS search dev one. See. REL OTS search dev one. What are the equivalent connections in IACS? You should create the equivalent connections. We already created for OTS search dev one, correct? We have connection OTS search dev one. Connection OTT is dev one. Selected. Understood? See here the transformations. It is using source, target, filter. Source transformation, source qualifier, target, and filter. It is using. Okay, if you have mapping parameters and variables, it will show here. If you have that, you can parameter file, you can put it here. Okay, you can schedule this. Click on save. Click on save. Once you click on save, run it. Go to monitor. Check it out. So PC, PC agency is running. PC agency is running. See three records loaded. Now the disadvantage is you cannot change the mapping. See, suppose you done a mapping in power center. You export it as yes. You, you can just run it. That's it. You cannot see that in ICS. You cannot do anything. You can just run. That's it. Suppose if you if you want to do any changes in the workflow, you need to do in power center only. That is the disadvantage. The disadvantage is you cannot do any changes for the workflow. If you want to do the changes, you do in power center. Then export it again. Export again and run again. That is power center task. Understood? So very minimal, minimal usage they given. Yes, please. We will use power center task to run the power center session in ICS to run a power center data integration. You can change the connections. Source or target table should be there in that connections. You can change any connection. Okay. But source and target table should be there. But that should be Oracle only again. See when you edit it. When you edit. You see this please. Next. Let me open it. Let me open. Power center task now. Where I created? One second. So it is in RP. Uh, okay. Let me edit. You see this list. Here, the type is Oracle only. You can use any other connection, but Oracle connection only. You cannot use any other connection. Understood? Instead of OTS search in one, you can take 15, 16 also. But the target table and source table should be present in that connection, that schema. Okay, that's how it will work. Understood everyone? Are you clear, please? So you see here, SQL server you cannot give. No. You cannot. If it if it is SQL server in if it is SQL server in uh, power center, you can give it here also. You can give it here. Understanding? Try to give, normally we'll give the same connections. We'll not change the database. Try to give if it will work or not. I did not check. Just check it once. Normally we'll give the same connections. Whatever they're in power center, we'll give the same. But try to give. Maybe it'll take. Maybe. But it is taking. I did not check it out. You can try it out if you want. Okay. So it is showing all means you can take it maybe. Okay. Now see please. To run a power center in data integration, you create a workflow first session, workflow manager. You create a power center task in ICS and upload the XML file. If you want to make any changes, you need to change the you need to make the changes in power center only. Then again export and run it. So, what are the rules? The power center XML file must contain only 
one work, must contain workflow. So you cannot export the mapping. You just export the mapping and you can run it. You cannot. You should export the workflow only. You should not export just a mapping or a just a session. Understood? You need to go to repository manager and you need to export the workflow only to work in ISES. Understanding, guys? Everyone, you need to export the workflow only. Okay? Next. The workflow must contain only one session task. To work with, the workflow must contain only one session task. If it is having more than one session task, it will not work. It should contain only one session task. Okay? The workflow cannot include the task type other than task type, other than session task. So if you have command task, suppose, here if you have command task, it will not work. Suppose if you if you export this to ISS, it will not work. It should contain only, it should contain only, what? It should contain only session task. Like that we have some rules. Just go through this. Some rules we have. Okay? Understanding these are the basic rules we should follow. These are the basic rules we should follow. Understanding everyone? Are you clear please? Everyone, are you clear? Understood? Power center task, it's very simple. It's very simple. Okay, so that's how it works. Any doubts, please? Power center task. Any doubts in power center task? It's very simple. Okay, so just export it. Just export it. Okay, and import into under. So export it again. You need to what you need to here. So under here, you need to upload it and run it. Select the connections and run it. That's it. Okay, nothing more. Than this is all about today's topic. I hope you got good information from my videos. For more information, please subscribe my channel, like and comment on my videos. Thank you. Thank you all.